currently seven degrees out. Okay, so I'm gonna up my idle here and what you can do on these trucks, and I think you can do it with pretty much any of the um, Cummins trucks that have a computer on them. So the, you know, pretty much the, I think like the 03s and up, the ones that have these options on them with the Excel and up and down and stuff, the plus and minus. So here we go, I already have the cruise on, and then you're just gonna hit plus to add RPM to your idle. see that it does just jump up a little bit more and more and all that's going to do is actually help your truck warm up a little bit faster so pretty cool Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. I want to welcome you guys into the channel. If you are new, don't forget we are giving away a 1997 F350 four-door long bed. It's on 22 by 14s, 40-inch tires. It's got a brand new OEM Ford grill, you know, not the aftermarket crap. Um, and it is just a solid truck, no rips on the interior. There's no rust on the thing. It's got a couple small flaws, dings and, you know, nicks here and there from, you know, the big tires. Um, but not bad, not bad bad at all you know what I'm saying so um, definitely definitely go into the description below and check out the information on how you can win this beautiful truck not the one I'm sitting in the beautiful 1997 f350 because um, there are only about 20 days left and then the giveaway is over and I don't want anybody to miss out okay these are very very small scale giveaways only a couple thousand people tops enter these things and so it's just a really big opportunity for you know me to give back to a subscriber and to just generate enough revenue to keep the channel going the next month and the month after that so thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys are absolutely awesome let's get into the video so the topic of today's video is going to be about the Longhorn yes the Longhorn the 3500 the mega cab um, just a behemoth it's a 2018 it's now got 11,500 miles on I've done like a ridiculous amount of driving in this thing the past handful of days just because I went out of town to the Pennsylvania mountains to do some deer hunting which was a blast I didn't shoot anything but we did have a lot of close calls and saw a lot of deer on public ground and it was just a lot of fun and the challenge of flintlock hunting in the mountains is just it's just different it takes you back you kind of feel like it's Daniel Boone style but um, of course you can go back to a heated trek at the end of the day so it's one of those deals anyways guys so what I'm gonna be doing is reviewing just a couple of things and letting you know what my thoughts are on the truck and how it's performed since I had some magical work done um, which we're not gonna name the shop that did it and we're not going to name the parts that are put on however I just want to let you guys know how much better the truck has been running since this magical thing happened to this pickup truck to where it suddenly became way more fuel efficient it became Became a lot more powerful and it just became the trucks that they're supposed to be from the factory but you know due to EPA and all this other bull crap they just can't do that and a lot of people ask you know like why don't they make the new engines like they did with the 12 valves and the 7 threes and you know make bring those engines back they just can't they can't do that it's illegal to do so because they have to produce engines that meet certain standards not only that but they have to keep evolving and developing otherwise you just get left in the dust with competition and everything else all that being said this truck used to get 14 miles a gallon on the highway and it got about 10 11 around town now that's on 33s and 20 by 10s which isn't very which isn't really a huge jump up but it's not a stock setup so that wasn't horrible given that most of these new trucks if you're gonna have a setup like that on them with like again it's not a very big setup but it's enough to just kind of knock your numbers down a little bit um, it wasn't very great and I wasn't satisfied with it and not only that the truck just it didn't sound good it didn't run healthily 
Um, it just, it just didn't, it just wasn't running obviously like it should. That's just, it's just the nature of the game when you buy these things new. And so right at about 10,000 miles, I went and had some magical work done. That's probably going to get annoying hearing that, but, uh, <laughs> and the truck has been doing a lot better. My fuel mileage is an average of 20 on the highway on these same 33s. It's averaging 15 to 17 in town. Just kind of depends if I'm, you know, dorking around with it, goosing it here and there, or if I'm just conservative driving it. It probably gets about 17-ish, 16, 17 in town, which is not bad. Like I said, guys, this is on a 33-inch tire setup and 20 by 10s, so it's got a decent little look to it, a little bit, little bit of a beefy look to it, but it's not, you know, the setup that we're going with soon, which by the end of this week slash early next week, uh, we should have a whole different looking truck, which is obviously going to take the fuel mileage numbers down. However, all it's going to do is take them back to what it was already getting before the work was done on the truck, which I honestly am fine with because at least I'm getting a little bit worse fuel mileage with an actually built cool giant truck versus crappy fuel mileage in a truck that's almost dang near stock ride height. So it's kind of the trade off, but I'm cool with it, especially now that I have a car, a Malibu that I bought to daily drive and put all my miles on. I'm not really like, oh no, my daily driver's not going to be super fuel efficient. You see what I'm saying? In terms of the fuel efficiency and all that stuff, it's just incredible. I think I went from, like I said, 14 on the highway to 20. That's a six mile per gallon increase. That's what I saw. Now, that just depends on your driving habits, how fast you drive, every, like all that stuff is dependent on you, your truck, the setup, what you're running, tires and wheels. There's just too many factors, but that's what I'm experiencing with this truck. Let's get into the power upgrade that this truck got done. And it is done by EFI Live and it's awesome. Okay, this truck is really, I mean, it's, it's nuts. So I've only got to really mess with that you know, upgrade a little bit here and there. And I gotta tell you, when you flip that switch and it's on the fly too, this truck is just an animal, dude. Like it'll just like, it will just shred the tires. If you're rolling 45 and you just pin it in the fourth tune, I mean, your tires are just, they're just spinning. I mean, they're just gonna start smoking. So, I mean, it's just really, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, but that being said, I'm not gonna continuously do that type of a thing on a truck like this, factory transmission, Yes, the Eisen transmissions are better than, you know, the 68, you know, whatever, whatever's, but I still don't want to just, you know, push my transmission to the limit all the time and just completely kill it. But that being said, like I said, the thing rides really nice and it really does just perform incredibly. Um, and for the guys that want to know, does it dump coal? Yes, when you flip it up to at least setting two, three or four, it will it will roll quite a bit of coal um, if you really pin it. But on setting one, which is just a 35 horse um, increase, it doesn't, you know, really at all. Even if you pin it, it, I mean, you don't see visibly, you don't see any soot come out the tailpipe at all. Even on setting four, it's not a ridiculous, you know, ungodly amount of smoke. It's just like a little black puff for like maybe 20 yards straight where the driving, which isn't very long, and then it clears up, and then you just get that wicked sound of just diesel growl. So freaking love that. But let me actually go through the tuner settings on this truck, okay? This isn't all the work that was done, but this is something that I'm okay with talking about. Setting one is 30 horsepower, setting two is 100 horsepower increase, setting three is 135 horsepower increase, and setting four is 200 horsepower increase, and that is running an EFI Live 4 custom tune um, setup, and it's pretty sweet. I mean, the truck, like I said, guys, it performs incredibly and I could not be happier. All that being said, I need to go wash this truck because I don't know if you guys noticed, but it is just dirty, it's salty, it's gross. So we're gonna try to find a nice car wash setup and just get this thing sprayed down because it is really, it is disgusting.